Living in Seattle, you usually have to worry about raindrops falling from the sky, but for those near the Ship Canal Bridge, they have to worry about something much worse. There's everything from little pieces to like medium sized chunks to like very large, heavy chunks of concrete that like <clears throat> would hurt. <laughs> Those concrete chunks, Jen Gibbons, who works just underneath the I-5 Ship Canal Bridge at the Pocock Rowing Center is talking about, have been falling from the bridge since 2015. But these really heavy ones, you know, have gone through sunroofs, they've destroyed parts of cars, we found them in our parking lot. Officials with WashDOT want to reassure the estimated 170,000 drivers that use the now 60-year-old bridge every day that it's still safe and fully operational. We inspect this bridge every two years at a minimum. We also have our maintenance crews out here a couple of times a year to just kind of take a look at the concrete, see if there's loose pieces. They'll flake those off so that we take them off in a controlled way. However, as a safety precaution, the state did just close the North and South Passage Point parks located underneath the bridge. They have no plans on closing the bridge itself, but do have a major multi-year $180 million rehabilitation project in the works in 2023. We're going to be uh, repairing expansion joints. We're going to repave the bridge. We'll check the bridge deck, make sure it's good and make any repairs to the deck that are necessary. Gibbons is concerned that 2023 is still a long ways to go for a permanent solution. But until then, she is grateful that no one's been injured by any fallen concrete. We've been contacting people for years about this, so I'm glad that it's finally getting some attention. As far as the parks underneath the bridge, WashDOT doesn't have a timeline on when they'll reopen. Live in Seattle, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.